Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing kind of a get ready with me where I try out some of the new holiday makeup releases. Now, if you haven't checked out my haul from last week, I did do a huge holiday makeup haul for you guys. And in this video, I'm trying out multiple things from that haul and just kind of showing you my experiences with them, telling you my thoughts. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look and my thoughts on some new holiday makeup, then just keep watching. So this is a pumpkin spice latte and I actually hate the pumpkin spice lattes <laughs> but every year once a year I try it just to make sure I don't like it because there's such a big fuss about it and I have to say this year I hate it the least that I've ever hated it. I think this is definitely still my one and done for the year but kind of enjoying it. I am feeling relaxed and rested. I had the day off today from work and it was so nice. I got to do laundry all day, clean my room, just do things I haven't had the energy to do. And my day has left me with time to play with makeup. I feel like I haven't been able to just freely play with makeup in a while. So we're gonna be playing with some of my more new holiday makeup. Hopefully there will be more videos like this to come with the bajillion more holiday releases that are gonna come. But I wanna use some products that I've showed you on camera but haven't showed you how they work. Right now, I have on the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. This is their newest foundation. I've had it on for about 10 minutes and I really like the way that it looks. It looks so nice. So for concealer today, I'm going to be using the Benefit Boing Concealer. I know this isn't technically like a holiday release, but it is. It's pretty new. Sephora had like little baby ones and I'm always for buying baby ones. We're going to play with it. So they only had very few colors in this size. So I got number five because the shade lighter looked really light and yeah this is number five it looks really dark on the box like look this looks like it's for really tan people but <laughs> I'm pretty light and look how well that works for me so I've never used this before it's not a super creamy concealer it doesn't blend out with super ease we're just taking a look at her from very initial application definitely is a little bit more dry than some of the concealers that I prefer it looks nice it's a medium coverage but it's so early that I can't really judge it too much I'm going to add just a touch of the ABH powder underneath Okay, cool. So let's move on to the eyes. I have another item that is not a holiday release, but I was so excited to try it that I wanted to try it on camera. So I went to the Morphe closest to my house because I saw they were getting the P. Louise base and I've never tried it before and I really wanted to. So this is the P. Louise base. I got it in Rumor 02. It looks really light. Here goes nothing. So I've never used this before. I've only swatched it in store. I guess a little is probably gonna go a long way. Okay, actually this color isn't as bright as I thought it was going to be on me. So this is a good color for me. I noticed the jump from two to three was a big jump, so it's like significantly darker. Okay, so there is a way to spread it out because I've seen people who applied it and it seems super opaque. This one was spread out with my fingers. It's fine. So the eyeshadow palette that I chose to play with because I know I'm not going to do an individual review on is the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. You guys definitely seemed curious about it and I was as well. That's why I purchased it. I wasn't going to and then it was just there and I was like, yeah, why not? It has the same kind of tin packaging that all of the good palettes from Too Faced have and you get really warm selection of colors. I have used this palette once already. It was like a really fast everyday eye so I feel like I didn't really get to play and dig into the quality. Definitely not an original palette in my collection that's for sure. If anything the one from last year kind of looked the same but let's play anyways. The first color I think I'm going to use is soft and sweet right here. I think we're going to go for a warm kind of smoky eye. So soft and sweet is going to be the transition color right here. And if this palette is going to be the way I think it's going to be, it should be pretty decent quality. I used to love Too Faced eyeshadow so much. I used to think it was the best in the business. Now that I have so much more experience with other brands, it's just not. It's kind of okay quality for the most part. I'm not doing like a really complicated eye either. The next shade I'm going to head into is Hot Molly, and that's going to add a little bit of spiciness to the eye, some richness. 
Okay, so I got a lot of color with this one. Mm, this shadow's okay. I'm gonna add some of Cookie Call, which is that dark chocolate brown. We're just gonna deepen this eye up. And wow, that blended super easily. This is a really good brown because sometimes browns can be super hard to work with. This one's looking good. Wow, okay, so this shade definitely just transformed the look, really deepened it, and the quality of that particular shade was awesome. While I'm at it, I'm gonna take that Hot Tamale, which was that reddish cranberry pink shade. We're gonna run that down here, and then a touch of Cookie Call. This is looking nice. I'm gonna take some of Vanilla Wafers right here, and I'm going to kind of put that right underneath my brow bone, blend out the edges a little bit as well with that shade. So this is a trick that I often do without really saying, but I save that underbrow highlight for one of the last steps, and I'll use a big brush. This brightens the brow bone area, but it also really softens out any harsh edges that you have. For the most part, I find that in these palettes, the shimmers are what are the best, and my eye for this look goes straight to Spicy Mama, which is the darkest shimmer, and I'm going to use my finger to apply that. And just by touch, it doesn't feel as creamy or wet as the Too Faced shadows normally do, but ooh, she's really pretty though. So it definitely feels a little bit more dry than the formula that I'm used to from Too Faced. This shade also has a bit of glitter in it as well that I think it just might be a different formula than what I'm used to. But also there are some really fine glitters in here, so I think altogether though this is a different formula for this particular shade at least. Haven't seen one like this from Too Faced just with this kind of finish. I, it does taking a little bit of build up, but it's really stunning. I'm not having any issues with it. It's just a different formula to work with. So in that case, I'm gonna try just another shade to see how these feel. We're gonna take Half Baked. I think Urban Decay has a Half Baked shade that kind of made them famous. And this one's feeling really, really smooth. I know my nails are disgusting, just I have no excuse. <laughs> None at all, they're gross. Now I'm looking like a piece of candy corn. I feel like candy corn is like the most hated candy. I like candy corn. Mm, this look though, I like it. I need to feel these shimmers though. Some of these are definitely more creamy than others, but the shimmers in here aren't as good as other palettes that Too Faced has come out with. I would say overall this is a nice palette. I think it would be a great gift or if somebody is eyeing it, I think they would definitely enjoy it. Just me as a reviewer and kind of looking back at other releases and comparing it to a lot of other general shadows that I have, this isn't the best and this isn't the best that Too Faced has come out with, but it's workable and and I think it's really good colors for people as well, so it's not knocking my socks off. I am taking a bit of Lick the Spoon right here, and I'm using that as my inner corner color. Oh my gosh, I just looked at the camera because I thought it wasn't recording, and I almost had a heart attack. But I am really liking this look, though. I'm feeling all the fall vibes lately because it's been so hot, and just this past week... I go out and I'm not sweating. It's amazing and I think that's why I like the pumpkin spice latte because it's just fall. Okay, so now we're going to move to the face and this is one of the things that I have been most excited to try and this is from Tarte. This is the Nine Ways to Shine Cheek Wardrobe. I saw this and I had to get it. Let's open her up. So this contains three different stacks. So the black one I think is gonna be the deepest one. Yeah, so we're not gonna use that. And the tones are completely off. This one, like the pinky one. And these are really cool. They're a bit unnecessary. Okay, so none of these are a tone that's really screaming out to me for this particular look. I wanted something a little bit more warm. Okay, so I'm gonna use a few different shades because I feel like none of the stacks are screaming out to me to be used. So I'm gonna start off with the bronzer shade from the Rose Gold Compact. I like Tarte Cheek products. I use their, what is it, the Amazonian Clay Blush in my makeup kit because it lasts a really long time for brides. This isn't the Amazonian formula though, but I just like their cheek products in general, so I was excited about this one. Okay, so that blended out pretty nice. This particular color would also be very nice for a range of skin tones because it is pretty deep. 
This is the Sonia G Worker Fan Brush, by the way, and I love it for bronzer because I can also take some of that bronzer and run it down my nose as well, not even to contour, just to add some color back into this region. I love this for that. Okay, so I like this bronzer shade as well. It's really nice. And for blush color, they don't have like a really orangey shade that like screams out to me, but I'm gonna dig into the Golden Compact. We're gonna take this metal blush. A bit more pinky than I would like, but the shade is as neutral as it's going to get. If you really like a pink cheek as well, this trio is really good. Like, I feel like for me personally, warm blushes just don't look as nice. So these are good colors for me in general. Lastly, for highlight, I'm also going to dig into the top of that golden compact. We're going to use more of a golden highlighter. This is like a golden champagne, not that golden, but I think most complimentary to the look. The highlighter is okay, nothing to write home about, a little bit more chunky, not as smoothing on the skin. So I think this trio set's okay. I think it's more so for the novelty of it all, just, I mean, it's just different, you know, but it's not really the most practical. I think it's good for traveling because you get three colors in the compact, but you don't really get to customize the colors and the quality is average. Uh, definitely not knocking my socks off, but I am just coming from using the Hourglass holiday set. So <laughs> the Hourglass set makes this seem like child's makeup, but honestly, this really isn't bad. And I think that this is something you've been wanting. You will really like it. It's just fun to have, but quality wise, it's not the best. And I haven't showed you that I purchased this, but I really want to dig into this. And we're gonna add a little bit more glow to the cheeks. So I purchased this the other day, so it will probably be in an upcoming haul. But this is the Laura Mercier Cheek Canvas Soft Cheek Palette. And this is very, very pinky toned, but we're gonna layer a little bit just for fun. Definitely will need to use this more, but I just wanna put it on my face. So I'm gonna take this peachy shade right here and I'm gonna put that right on the apples of my cheeks. So that added so much more brightness to my face. Isn't this stunning? At first I wasn't going to purchase this, and then I saw it in stores and I was like, mm, it's mine now. It's so much more gorgeous in person. And again, there's not really a golden highlight, but I just want to layer this just to play. Mm, yeah, see like this Laura Mercier highlight, I like even more than the Tarte. I just think this is a much more put together palette. But anyways, that was just me throwing it on my face because I've been dying to have it on there. Now my cheeks are like crazy, so I'm going to kind of press my sponge over that. For liner, I'm going to dig into this Urban Decay Holiday Hall of Fame set that I purchased. This is $39 and you get a perversion mascara, an Urban Decay all-nighter spray, a perversion liner, and then an eyeshadow primer potion. And I bought this because it's just had some of my essentials that I use every day on myself and in my kit. So I already know that the spray is amazing and the primer potion is amazing. Never tried the mascara, but for today, I'm just going to use the perversion liner. And it's been such a long time since I've used these liners. These liners were a big deal back when I was like in middle school and I had a ton of these. So I guess I have tried these before, but I was also like 13 and didn't know how to wear makeup. So try it out. These I remember being super creamy. So I'm going to tight line. Guys, I am just so cute. Get really close to my mirror and kind of smudge this on my lash line. So super creamy, just like I remember. Now I only just did a touch to kind of deepen my eyes because I do want to focus on some mascara. Should I put this in my waterline? I hate putting black in my waterline, but... Yeah, so I remember these being so amazing for the waterline. That's why I purchased them. I did my research back in the day. I was still very crazy about makeup back in the day, and these were all the rage. I did my research. These were supposed to be the best of the best. I had them in, like, every color, and I remember them being super smooth, pretty long-wearing. I don't think as long-wearing as everybody said it was. I mean, 10 years later, these are definitely still as creamy as they used to be. Mascara. I have purchased quite a lot of mascara sets for the holidays because I'm super into mascara right now. And one of the sets that I purchased is the Benefit Together at Lash set. I don't want to open all three just because mascaras don't last. But I've been dying to try the Roller Lash Mascara. So this set is great because you get three full-size mascaras to test out. 
Okay. So I'm not running low on mascara anytime soon. My desk is a mess from opening all of these packages. <laughs> I heard this was good for keeping your lashes curled. I'm half Asian, so I have very like straight eyelashes. It's so annoying. Ouch, I just pinched my skin because I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so mascaras are pretty tough to judge on first use. Sometimes formulas just need a little bit of time to get used to the air and dry a little bit. I think that this mascara is nice. It's quite lengthening, not really volumizing. I have to keep you updated on it because I want to give this formula a real chance but I mean it made my lashes look okay it's not as good as my Pat McGrath which is my favorite mascara I don't want to knock it too soon though I haven't given it a fair opportunity but I did just want to show you this kit is super awesome for mascara lovers so if you have like a friend or somebody who always wears mascara and is like a mascara addict there's a lot of great mascara kits available but this one I just thought was the cutest so there was all this holiday stuff that I bought I realized I bought zero lip products and that's because I'm so overwhelmed with lip products so I figured I'd do my look first and then I'd pick the lips. So the color that I picked out for today's video is the Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick and Amazing Amal. This is from her Hot Lips 2 collection. The reason I chose this is because she came out with this fantastic set. It is only $25 and these lipsticks are not $25 a piece. These are more than $25 a piece but there's a set of three little lipsticks from this line and this one is one of them. A little update since filming this my friend Mindy she actually purchased that set and she discovered that those lipsticks they aren't even like mini they're like micro <laughs> like tiny little things so for some of you that might be a turn off because the amount of product you are getting is like very very little but if you just want to try out the formula and color and you're okay with spending $25 go for it but like okay <laughs> bye <laughs> stop so you can have this and two other lipsticks for $25 obviously it's a small size but such a good deal this is one of my favorite lipstick lines that released this year and the colors are fantastic so this is one of them I mean it's a bit bright for this look but mm, okay we're clashing a little bit more than I thought we would never mind but that still doesn't take away from my thoughts about the kit Okay, so I'm just gonna go with a classic of mine. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Hepburn Honey. This and Nude Cake from Charlotte Tilbury are my favorite nudes of all time. Just such a good color to go to. So I'm gonna go put on some falsies and I will be right back to give you my final thoughts. All right, and I am back. I have my lashes on. I did some laundry in between this. So the makeup has had a little bit of time to sit. So I just wanted to give you kind of my final thoughts on the products. I have to say, I really do like this look. It's a beautiful fall look. All of the products I've used, I feel like there isn't anything that stands out to me that I really, really love. I don't think I dislike any Thing, but there isn't a product that really stands out to me. So individually, let me go over. The first thing that I used was the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. Honestly, it seems a little bit dry for me and I do notice a touch of creasing already that's looking a little crustier than some other concealers would. Obviously, I need to play around with different setting powders and things that I put on top of it. I'm not really loving this concealer. I also played with the P. Louise base. I know this isn't a holiday release and it was really, really nice. I actually really liked it. I really want to play around when I actually do more colorful looks because this look is pretty in my comfort zone. I need to play with this more, but I don't have anything bad to say about it. I liked the way it spread out. It's a little bit more thick and creamy. I just kind of wanted to see the difference between this and the ABH and I think I prefer this over the ABH. It's just creamier. The ABH is a little bit too slick and the color is too light for my taste. So I like the P. Louise better. The Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy. Well, I do think a lot of you guys are definitely going to like this and I think that this is a great gift. It's just not my favorite. It lacks in the originality department and it's just not the best work that Too Faced has ever come out with. Now, it's not the worst either because they've come out with some pretty bad stuff sometimes, but this is pretty middle of the road. If you ask me for them, you can get really pretty looks. And for the everyday user, this is a perfectly fine palette. I'm an eyeshadow snob, so I'm not all that impressed by this, but you still can get really gorgeous looks. And this is like the perfect 
fall palette as well. The Tarte Base Trio. Again, like it, don't love it. I think it's a really good value for what it is though. This is priced very fairly compared to their other cheek products. But yeah, it's just more about the novelty of it all and just how cute it is to use. But practicality, it's just not there. Quality, while it's nice and it's workable, there are definitely way better quality cheek products out there. But definitely something fun to have and it does work. So definitely if you use this, you're not going to be disappointed with it by any means, but they can do better as well. The Laura Mercier Cheek Canvas Soft Cheek Palette. Now I didn't really use this, use this, so I feel like this definitely has potential for me to love. I just need to use it on its own. Like I really have high hopes for this one. So this one might be a love, I just haven't used it yet. But I did want to tell you, it is 10 times more gorgeous in person. I'm weak when it comes to cheek palettes and this is stunning. The Urban Decay Holiday Hall of Fame. I know I only used one product in this, but I'm telling you this is a really great deal because these are in the Hall of Fame for a reason. These are cult favorites. I stand by this spray and the primer potion. The liner is really good as well from what I can tell so far. So I just think in general this is a really good kit and it's a great deal to pick up some staples. So if you're like me and these are your staples, $39 for all of that is kind of a steal. So I bought that just for value because I use and love those products already and then the last item that I used was the benefit together at lash set and I can't speak on the quality individually of any of these mascaras but I just think it's the cutest gift to get somebody who loves mascara so highly recommend this I feel like we all have that friend that has like amazing lashes and all they do is wear mascara like that's their entire makeup routine and this is perfect for that kind of person so that is all of the new holiday makeup that I tried in today's video more holiday stuff is coming out day by day so if you see something that you're interested in definitely tag me on Instagram I'm watching these releases like a hawk so hopefully I can have more fun videos out like this I just kind of want to chill and play with some new makeup kill a few birds with one stone as far as trying multiple products go so if you aren't subscribed to my channel already make sure you take the time to do so because I'm all about the holiday makeup releases right now thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.